Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2004 Mercedes-Benz S350. It comes in this absolutely beautiful metallic blue with black leather interior and it has a significant amount of options, especially for an S350. It's done 100 and 74,000 kilometers when it, uh, since it was new but it's been optioned with radar cruise control which I believe was even an option on an S600 Bose sound system and voice command standard features include memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side and even the timber steering wheel was an option it was about a two and a half thousand dollar option <clears throat> for 174,000 kilometres, it is in absolutely beautiful condition. You can see the distance cruise control there. We'll just go back to the speedo, 174,000 kilometres. The timber work is absolutely beautiful. The navigation screen is also very clear. Once you get to this age, you often get a few pixels and things which are missing and you get pixelations and lines across the screen. So here you can adjust your radar cruise control as to how close you want to be to the car in front of you. And it's even got an alarm which you can turn on which will sound if you're getting too close to the car in front of you or if you're not concentrating and the car in front slows down. It's got dual zone climate control on either side. It's even got a charcoal filter. The logbooks are absolutely excellent. Um, the distance cruise control is used just like the normal cruise control. You just press up and down to set it away from you to turn it off or put your foot on the brake. It's also got voice recognition or Lingatronic. So at the click of a button, you can you can say radio on, radio off, etc. The Bose sound system is also a great extra to have. And it was even optioned with the optional Difter alloy wheels, which I think are the best looking alloy wheel on the W220 series Mercedes. As I said, I've owned about four, four of these S classes, and uh, this particular car is actually one of mine. I've had for a little while. I sold an AMG, and I've been I bought this, and uh, I really love it. I've taken it to a very fussy mechanic and uh, I've spent about $4,000 on the car to bring it right up to scratch because I am very, very fussy. Just about every car I buy, I generally do all the engine mounts and gearbox mounts because if you're driving an S-Class, it needs to be spot on. So it's nice and smooth. Um, I had all the suspension checked out, which was very good. Uh, but I did replace what's called the valve block, which is essentially the brain that controls the suspension. The navigation screen did actually have some lines in it, so I replaced it. With the boot, when you unlock it, a handle should come out. That feature wasn't working properly in the soft close, so I replaced that. You just see, probably saw it pop out there. I'll show you when we close it. It's got all the original tools and fuses warning triangle so when you close the boot you can see you've got this here which helps you close it and if you don't close the boot properly it does have soft close so I'll show you here so you may not have seen it but the boot just um, went down by about half a centimeter the paintwork is excellent and so is the leather you know, it's interesting, we see some of these with 50 or 60,000 kilometres and they're just not in this condition. As you've probably gathered by this video or if you've been looking at videos of mine for a while or hours at the Old Timer Centre, I am a particularly fussy person and that's why when I came across this car, I really just had to have it. The leather seats are also in amazing condition for their age. The timber works beautiful. It's just been serviced. One thing I also make sure is my oil is always clean. Um, it does have the sunroof, which is pretty standard. 
probably one of the biggest options on this car and the rarest is the radar cruise control which is just behind this little section here it's also got the very nice European plates they were the same plates on the car when it was sold brand new at Mercedes-Benz of Mossman it's always been in New South Wales it's never been sold interstate or anything like that and this is a car that would suit someone who's not trying to buy uh, the cheapest S350 available or the cheapest S-Class available what they're trying to find is what I think is absolutely one of the best available because there's been no expense spared on uh, keeping this car in absolutely exceptional mechanical condition if you are in New South Wales or even if you wanted to um, fly from interstate you could leave a deposit on the car it really needs to be driven to be appreciated. We'll start it up quickly. All right. So if you have a look here, I've just been driving it in the city, it's got 13,000 kilometres left until the service A. The last service was a major service. That's for the distance cruise control. Um, that's the average fuel consumption. Again, I'm, I am driving in the city. It's actually incredible for such a heavy car. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to give us a call. we we'll contact one 02956999999. And my name is Philip. We also offer, can help you out with finance, and we're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney CBD and Sydney Airport. Thanks again for watching. We do look forward to hearing from you.